In today's video, I thought we could take a look at this paper I found during this weekend that is called From Sparse to Dense GPT-4 Summarization with Chain of Density Prompting. This is a paper from Salesforce AI, MIT, Columbia University and Biomedical Informatics. Uh, let's just read a bit from the abstract, then we are going to go and test this prompt and see how good it works. So you can see here, selecting the right amount of information to include in a summary is a difficult task. A good summary should be detailed and entity-centric without being overly dense and hard to follow. So that is very interesting. I never thought about that. Like, you want a very dense summary that's easy to follow, but it should also include all the details a good summary needs, right? So the approach they took here was to solicit increasingly dense GPT-4 summaries, what they refer to as a chain of density prompt. So here you can see by using this chain of density prompt, uh, they can generate summaries that are more abstractive, exhibit more fusion and have less of a lead bias than GPT-4 summaries that is just generated by a zero shot or a vanilla prompt. So I, I thought it would be interesting to test this out. You can, If we scroll down a bit here, we can actually see the prompt they used here. So you can see we have an article on top here. So we're just gonna fill in an article here and you will generate increasingly concise entity then summaries of the article above. Yes, that's like good. Repeat the following two steps five times. So this is kind of the increasingly they add entities. So you can see here on step one, identify three informative entities from the article, which are missing from the previously generated summary. Then we're gonna write a new denser summary of identical length, which covers every entity and, and detail from the previous summary, plus the missing entities. So this is gonna like when we do the first step, we're gonna uh, add more and more entities the further along we get. So you can see this if we scroll back up here. So they have this density curve here, I think they call it. So here it kind of starts lower, but it increases here in density or entities and tokens as they go along this step line here. So I found this very interesting and it's going to be quite cool to test it out. Uh, so they make some uh, more uh, information here about entities, what an entity is. And you can see here, use the exact number of words uh, for each summary. So the summary is set to 80 words here, four to five sentences. And I think we're just gonna head over to ChatGPT here and try this prompt. So you can see I have it laid out here, right? And I'm just gonna go grab an article we can use for our first test. Okay, so I found this article on BBC Future. Should we be worried about older politicians? So I just went ahead, I copied this. So let's head back to our prompt. Okay, so I'm gonna insert the article in here. All right, so we are looking good. Okay, so let me just click submit here. Okay, so what this is trying to do now, right, is to look for entities that should be in the summary. Like, but the point is like for each step we go along, we want to look for more missing entities. Like here we look for these. So we are gonna put them inside the next summary, uh, but to keep the same length that we need, if we are gonna put those entities in, we will have to remove some yeah, filler words, if you wanna call it that. And by doing this, we get more of a dense summary. Uh, so it's going to be interesting to see how like summary 5, how this reads. Uh, I think it might be a bit awkward to read, but we're just going to have to test it. So let's try summary 5 here. So I think I'm just going to copy that, run it in 11 labs, and let's have a listen to it. The 2024 US election featuring Biden and Trump sparks debates on age's impact on leadership. With brain volume loss influencing executive function, Mark Fisher identifies age 65 as a cognitive decline threshold. Hmm. Superagers like Biden defy norms, yet cognitive flexibility, highlighted by Barbara Sahakian, dwindles with age. Fisher advocates cognitive screenings for politicians, a proposal supported by Nikki Haley but deemed ageist by critics. Amidst toxic ageism discussions, the dilemma persists. Does age genuinely determine political aptitude? I think that was pretty good. I think I just from these 80 words, I think I kind of got what this article is about. And we get a lot of entities we can refer to, right? So kind of impressed. Uh, I'm just going to take a quick look at the first one. Yeah, this uses a lot more filler words. Like, so this article discusses the topic of older, like, 
it really doesn't go straight into it. So we get a much more packed summary here. Uh, that could be good if we want to summarize a lot of articles and kind of use it to work on going further. So yeah, kind of interesting. I might have to test this out a bit more, maybe in like a Python script or something. Uh, but that is what I had for today. If you want to try this out, I have left a link to the prompts here in the description below. Uh, go check out the paper. I will also link to that from Sparse to Dense. So yeah, short video today. I got more exciting things coming up in the next few weeks. So hopefully I'll see you then. Have a great day and bye bye.